Well, after about almost 50 years of riding motorcycle, I figured it was time for me to give back a little bit to the sport that I adore. And uh, creating this vehicle was a little bit of way to uh, show my appreciation to other people going out there and riding and hoping that uh, they'll be motivated to push the limit a little more and come and join us for some off-road adventures. Well, my name is Raphael and I'm an addict. I'm a BMW addict, I'm a sidecar addict, I'm an off-road addict. And I'm an instructor for Rawhide Adventure, which is the BMW Off-Road Academy. And with that in mind, I wanted to put together a chase vehicle that we could use on some of our expeditions in order to be able to help out a customer who runs out of gas, runs out of water, and God forbid would have a breakdown or get hurt we would have a vehicle that would be close to be able to extricate them from the desert. Came up with this design that I had a friend of mine up at Boxer Metal, which is all the way up in Chico, California, uh, put together. When the concept was to uh, put together an off-road sidecar, I had my trusty BMW R1150 GS Adventure that became the donor to create this rig. This is no longer a motorcycle with a sidecar, this is a rig because there is no way you could retrofit this back into a motorcycle. You couldn't separate it. Everything is designed to be extremely rugged and it's done with automotive parts. The tires, you know, would fit an automobile. The suspension has been completely redone and extremely sturdy in order to be able to do that. The main concept was to do something that not only was rugged, but would be able to take riding off-road. And so to that effect, we created it with an adjustable suspension so that we could give ourselves lots of extra ground clearance as need be. And this also allows you, when you go down the, the, the highway, to be able to adjust for the crown of the road. The first part that we had to modify was the motorcycle. And BMW fans will recognize that this is no longer a stock BMW front end. This thing is all devised with a subframe that was attached to the motorcycle in order to be able to put what they call a neural's front end which allows much more suspension travel and especially especially sturdy for a motorcycle. We change the exhaust system, we did a bunch of off-road, you know, upgrade, you know, that allow you to be a little bit rugged. You have handlebars for the for adjustments for the handlebars so that when you go off-road you can adjust your handlebars to the appropriate height. One of the main features that we had to do when we modified the, uh, the rear end of this machine to be able to carry automotive tires because on the sidecar you're always having the tire running on the flat side of it. You don't have any curves like on the motorcycle. By running an automotive tire they last much longer and give you much more grip and handling. The difficulty with this is that we needed to change the entire drive shaft and lengthen it in order to be able to accommodate a bigger tire than would be a motorcycle. So this entire swing arm is custom built and extended in order to be able to give ourselves enough room to be able to run a very aggressive off-road tire for the rear. So originally the concept was to make it a recovery vehicle and one of the things that you do when you go off-road is that you lower the air pressure in your tires in order to be able to get better handling. What happens is that when you get to the end of the trail, you kind of uh, uh, need to put the air back in the tires so that you can ride back on the highway. And so when we take some of our um, crews out in the middle of the desert, we uh, have to wait until everybody pulls out their little compressor to be able to refill their tires and all of that. So I decided that the best solution was to bring the air ourselves. So we have a nice little compressor 
with a hose so that we can just go around to all the bikes and in about five minutes top up everybody. The advantage of having this also is that it allows me to run power tools and I also have an airbag that I use as a jack should I need to change a tire on the, on the vehicle. So the second item that we find ourselves sometimes needing on the, on the trail is gasoline because some of the bikes that you know ride may run out of gas or you know may not have brought enough with them so underneath the sidecar is an 11 gallon gas tank which is part of the uh, uh, part of the skid plate and it's hooked up to a pump so that I can just fill the guys as they need it uh, at the end of the trail or part, part of the trail. This also gives me from the eight and a half gallon on the motorcycle plus 11 gallons right here I have a lot of cruising range with uh, with this. So as we were installing all of these things right here we decided this is starting to be so over the top let's just really make sure that it is. And so when you get to the end of a trail or when you get on top of a mountain and you really want to enjoy the scenery isn't the best thing an espresso. So we devised this steampunk espresso which makes a terrific espresso out of little pods. You just put the little pod in there, turn on all the various number, you know, uh, controls for the espresso and you make a mean little espresso machine in the middle of nowhere. So in the spirit of a utility vehicle, we designed it so that the entire box can be used to carry merchandise, material, supplies. This is uh, a storage box that we converted into a seat, but easily removable so that all that space can be used for storage, including the uh, little side door, which in a very rugged condition may be easier to uh, keep off the motorcycle entirely, or if you're trying to load up an injured uh, rider, you may need to have just an easy access into the sidecar. The, uh, the little side marker lamp is a very, I'm very proud of that little find. It actually comes off of a 1939 Ford in Australia, manufactured by Bosch, absolutely irreplaceable. But I thought it was a nice little touch of, you know, old technology on the, on the sidecar. This tire here started its life as a Volkswagen wheel uh, and is used for the rear of the sidecar in very rugged situation because it's got about two, three inches more height than the stock wheel and it's designed with a special hub to mount directly as an easy replacement to, uh, to the other wheel. The beauty of this being a 15 inch tire is that you have lots of available tires in this size that are available. You're running around 14 inches all the way around on the sidecar, which is much more difficult to find as replacement tires. What we have here is Mini Beamer. Mini Beamer came about because as we were building this, uh, this rig right here, we started adding more and more little options to the point where it really started to be over the top. And when we got to the point where we were running out of stuff to add, we decided, I got a little mini trail sitting in the garage. Maybe we can carry that just like a dinghy. If you're going to be driving a big land yacht, why not have a little dinghy behind it? So this used to be a nice little Honda mini trail that we modified into a little BMW that I call my BMW made in Japan. And this allows us to have a little pit bike or a little bike to get around when we get to a particular destination. It's really just for the fun of it. So this is a custom rag designed to hold the little mini beamer on the back side of it. But when we go in the desert, I have a different little cradle that holds the front wheel of a motorcycle. And I can demonstrate with mini beamer. Imagine that this is the little cradle that normally goes there. We'll just put the front end of the motorcycle on there and then strap it down to the sidecar. Uh, 
and there you are, ready to go and tow it out of the desert, just like this. And it's ready to go, nice and secure on the back of the, of the sidecar. That keeps us from having to leave or abandon a motorcycle in the middle of the desert and have it come back later on with the truck to pick it up. I'll show you, I can go down the highway with this. Let me go get a helmet.